what's going on guys welcome back to some more dark season one episodes nine and ten is here today we're gonna clean up this season and we're gonna move on to season two of course but man let me know how much you're enjoying this show right now in the comment section let me know first time you watched the show how good it was for you what was your experience let me know in the comment section guys and don't forget to leave a like anyways the things that are happening in this show man it's just it's intriguing it's informative yeah you know i'm saying it's past future present it's just it's amazing you know the structure of the show i'm not gonna waste too much time on the intro here because i really want to see how they finish up the season and what more they're going to reveal because i just want to know what more are they going to reveal um what things are going to change because of all these people traveling to the past jonas didn't he didn't change anything but ulrich he went back and killed helgi you know what i'm saying he don't even know if he if he's the actual one that had something to do with the kids he just ah just killed him you know what i'm saying um that's just crazy for him to just I mean, he hesitated a little bit to kill him, but as I said, I don't think he's dead. But from what we from what we've seen, where we are as the audience to assume he's dead, but I don't think he's dead because in the future he shows up with the scars in his left on the left side of his face. You know what I'm saying? Does he know? You know what I'm saying? Like, does he know that Ulrich did that to him back in the day? Does he know who did it to him back in the day? I don't think he knows. Or maybe he does remember Ulrich's face in the future. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if somebody's going to show up in the cell to save his life. I don't know. We're going to find out. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button. And I will catch you guys for the review. All right, guys. Dark season one. <laughs> uh, brother man, brother man, brother man. Did they knock this show out the park? With no doubt. This is a no doubt home run kind of situation here with this show. So let's talk about season one, man. Let's evaluate here. I don't have to wait until the end. You already know this is a 10 out of 10 season of TV for me. Um, as I said before, man, this is one of my favorite genres in any medium, in any medium. Yeah, you know I'm saying whether it be books, whether it be, you know, yeah, whether it be books, TV shows, anime, whatever it is that deal with time travel. I am with the shits, okay? I'm with the shits. It's, as I said, when it comes on to time travel, it's a hit or miss in whatever medium. It's a hit or miss because of how complicated it can get. And if you don't follow the story very closely, you will get mixed up. You will get confused because everything is kind of interwoven between... Um, past present and future so you really do have to pay attention if you really want to understand what's going on sometimes the story is very easy to follow sometimes it's a little bit more complicated to follow like here in dark dark is a very complicated story but told in a way where you can call back to certain points and realize okay this is what we're doing now this is what we're doing here this is what we're doing here this is what we're doing here so you kind of can follow the story but every now and then they'll hit you with something you're like wait, wait a minute <laughs> you know what i'm saying so the last episode of the season was very very good um i really enjoyed it how they wrapped it up it seems like he's now 33 years from 2019 that would be um 2000 
what 50 something 2052 2000 2052 I think 2052 right 2052 um so that's crazy they're introducing a new time period for next season where where Jonas is going to be um Ulrich is stuck back in 1953 he got arrested um Charlotte is wondering what the hell is going on there's a lot of things there's still a lot to be answered here because of what Noah said Noah is basically saying that it 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 begins again because older no uh, older Jonas thinks that he's actually destroying the thing when he actually what he's doing is resetting the thing you know what i'm saying he's resetting everything by what he's doing he's being manipulated by claudia at least i don't know if i believe noah yet i don't really like his, his character is kind of creepy you know what i'm saying so i don't know what his ulterior motive is it seems like he has an ulterior motive and i don't know if i should believe him you know, because maybe maybe something is going to change. Maybe Jonas is going to figure something out to come back to, to 2019. Who knows? But I'm here for it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I love this show. I love this show. And the reason why I love it so much, not only is one of my favorite genres to watch, or one of my favorite stories to watch, kind of story, to watch or read or whatever not only is it that you know what i'm saying it's just the structure as i've talked about many in many reviews prior to this one the structure of this show is very well done it keeps you off balance while taking its little time to reveal tidbits here and tidbits there and every time they reveal just a little bit of what you should know it's always a jaw-dropping moment you're like this whole time you're trying to tell me this whole time you know what i'm saying is just that kind of reaction you know what i mean and i really do appreciate when shows do that i really do appreciate when shows do this man because it just it throws you off balance it's a very good show to discuss you know what i mean very good show to discuss i'm pretty sure next season is going to be something it's going to be better because shows usually improve in the second season. Usually, not always, but usually, right? So, towards the things that are going on in the show, man, um, I just want to say there's not much that I can sit here and discuss because there's still... Um, basically, Noah said some stuff that blew up everything that we were finding out about everything. He basically said that... You know, I thought that what um, older Jonas was trying to do because he's been in this loop, right? As I said during the episode, it's a loop, right? Because everything that has happened already is happening again. You know what I'm saying? Did he try to destroy the thing before? You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, yes, he did because it seems like Claudia keeps getting him to do the same thing what does claudia know claudia used to be at the at the power plant she used to be the head at the power plant right so what does she know this power plant is playing a big part in this series and we still don't know what that is yet it's obvious that she's continuing something there is a secret at the power plant that they don't want us to know yet it hasn't been revealed to us yet from she found out from the the prior um boss over there and is there's a secret right that they know about that she knows about that she needs to stop because she can travel um through time too but i don't think these i don't think all of them use the tunnel that's the thing like i don't think everybody that's traveling through time is using the tunnel i don't think so but i could be wrong on that too so there's some manipulation going on as noah said there's pete there's two types of people trying to control time right now right well not time but time travel right the light and the shadow he doesn't 
he doesn't mess with Claudia. So he, so what? He's the light, and they're the shadow. Who are these people? Is the are these actual factions, or you know what I'm saying? Is are they actual factions of light and shadow, or he was just using that metaf metaphorically to 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 paint a picture for us, the audience? What is going on? You know what I'm saying? Did an actual reset happen? Are we going to do this all over again? You get what I'm saying? The things that happened during this season is just nuts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's in a time loop. I don't think they know. 33 years apart. I don't think they know that they're in a time loop. I think only a couple of people know about it. Noah seems to be able to travel through time too. How do they do it? I don't know. I don't think, as I said, I don't think everybody uses the tunnel, but I guess we'll figure how that goes. So, older Jonas was, he was afraid of something, afraid of the future. He's seen something in the future. Did he leave himself clues? You get what I'm trying to say? I think maybe he's going to leave, he, he left himself clues to remember what happened you know over time or maybe it's just the same jonas repeating i'm just gonna watch the show people i'm just gonna watch the show i'm just gonna watch the show i can't even i can't even front i'm just gonna watch the show because i'm telling you when when i'm watching stuff like this i usually don't speculate and let, let them just drop the, the breadcrumbs along and just bring me along the journey because you are not going to really know much or a lot is not going to be revealed to you because basically at the end of season one, where are we right now? We're literally back to square one where we started from. We started finding out that this is time traveling, stuff like that. Like we're back to square one because it's like, OK, we're in a, we're in basically an infinite, infinite loop. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. So it's like what? What can you really speculate about what's going to happen? You can't, you can't really have a, um, a strong indication of what's going to happen. Cause there's really none you can, you can, you can, um, you can speculate, but during that speculation, you're probably going to realize that probably can't be happening. So you just kind of you just kind of just not speculate about anything because the things that were revealed during this season at the end of the season they then make it make no sense you get what i'm saying because it's like why did all of this happen then if we're not getting towards a goal of you know how to fix this situation why does time travel exist and all of this other stuff like how you know what I'm saying? There's no solution to any of it. So you can't really speculate because there's no there's no indication of where this is going to end or how this show is going to end or what you expect to happen. There's no indication of it. You get what I'm saying? It's not it's a story you can follow, but also a story you cannot follow. And that's what I love about stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? So I, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the season as much as I did, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in every day to watch Dark this week. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. As always, man, it's your boy Terry Byte Reacts, and I will catch you guys for season two. Season two will not come out the the um the week after, okay? Because I still have to do it. So I'm gonna do them two weeks two weeks apart so we'll take a break from the show for one week and then the next week we'll come back okay so each whether it's early access whether it's on youtube is is it we're just gonna take a break for a week and then you guys got it okay so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all um as always man it's your boy terabar reacts and i'm out peace